So, the dev blogs are coming out, and I think that I have a pretty good idea of what might come next in terms of the aviation industry in War Thunder. This is just mere speculation, but most of my speculations have been correct every single time, so yeah. Here's what might be coming next patch. Dev blog started on, uh, with the emphasis on the Japanese line with their type whatever tank being sold and pre-ordered and stuff like that. Then we have the Challenger E and that's going to be, well, another Challenger. Hooray. Now what that tells me is worth under is preparing something for the Japanese tree and maybe for the British tech tree. The British tech tree hasn't received any love whatsoever, was just one tornado. And there's going to be ground attacker and everybody hates it because all the tornado fans have been expecting something better and yeah. Also last patch we've seen a small upgrade to the uh, what do you call it that phantom thingy EJ Kai for the Japanese tech tree. Basically it got aim 9 L's and uh, basically that means or just says to me okay you got 4th gen jets but Japan doesn't have theirs yet so yeah give it something to be a little bit more competitive but what if what if what if and if is a strong confirmation from me because next patch i think that we might see the f2 being added the mitsubishi f2 for the japanese tech tree it's basically a modified or not a modified well it is a modified f16 that japanese produced but that thing is so amazing that it beat the first model of the f16 or its counter part of the f-16 at the time you get what i mean now if you're speculating an f-15 that's also there but it doesn't really make sense if you think about it f-15 needs to be on the u.s tech tree first then yeah sure we might add it to other nations as well the f-15 is also really advanced so i don't really know what we're going to see to be fairly honest next update is not going to house a lot of vehicles i uh, but we'll get into that in just a second because I want to talk to you about the planes that might go. So the Mitsubishi F2 carried AIM-9Ls as per expected. Uh, they also carried the AIM-9P5 which is an export variant of the AIM-9J that more than refuses to add right now. It also carried the AIM-7M obviously, an ASM-1N, an, an anti-ship missile, 500 pound bombs, a 300 and 50 kilogram JM117, I think that's a guided bomb, a cluster bomb, CPU 87, the JLAU3A, that's a rocket pod, and ECM pods, and a couple of different uh, external fuel loads in the form of the 600 gallon and the 300 gallon. Wow, Japanese use burgers? Hmm, interesting. Well, War Thunder last patch promised that the Japanese are going to get something to, well, be used as a ground attacker. And to be fairly honest, the F2 fits the ad description, which is absolutely fantastic if you think about it. Now, moving on to the Brits and the Tornado ADV. That thing, everybody knows it. Uh, air to air configuration only. Basically, the thing can carry AIM-9Ls, AIM-7s, and, well, MRAMs. MRAMs have also been spotted in the uh, dev files last patch, and the patch before it, and the one before it, so it's an old thing. So, we might see Fox 3s being added too, but that's a highly unlikely, I think. For planes, that's going to be the only thing that I can think about because some tech trees are, well, lacking and they're going to have their stuff added, like, well, the Japanese and the British, like I said, and basically that's about it. I don't know what else War Thunder has in store because in the future only the Soviet tech tree can be predictable and the other nations are just going to have copies upon copies upon copies from the US tech tree and the French tech tree and basically that's about it so yeah fourth gen fighters were going to have variants all the way that's why I granted Russia all the way because that thing has a lot of variations anyway if you do enjoy the video please do hit that like subscribe and share but whatever you know what do whatever last video was good even though that it didn't get a lot of views so I might think that you enjoy it so yeah enjoy that hey leave me a comment tell me what you think is it cringy or not? Anyway, see you on the next one.